Saint Andrew, a disciple of Jesus, was crucified after he had converted the wife of a Greek governor to Christianity. And whereas for the crucifixion of Jesus his hands and feet were nailed to the cross, Andrew was bound to the cross using ropes. The idea was that this way Andrew would suffer longer on the cross. In 1606 and 1607, Caravaggio painted this scene showing the final moment of the Apostle Andrew's life. The work measures some 80 by 60 inches or 200 by 150 centimeters and it's on display in the Cleveland Museum of Art. Actually, Andrew has just died moments ago and Caravaggio brilliantly captures his transition from life to death in his face. You can see the combination of his long suffering on the cross and the relief that he could finally die. Some early sources, like the Acts of Andrew, describe how when Andrew was bound to the cross, he continued to preach for two days, converting many people to Christianity. As their number grew, they started to demand that Andrew should be taken off the cross. Obviously, the governor is not very happy with this. We can see him in the foreground wearing his armor. He had ordered the crucifixion of Andrew because he had converted his wife to Christianity. And now, on the cross, he continued to convert more and more people. So the governor intervenes and orders the executioners to take Andrew off the cross. Only problem is that they miraculously are unable to do so as they are hit by a temporary paralysis. It gives the skinny Andrew time to finally die on the cross, just as he had asked God in a prayer. No longer paralyzed, the executioner standing on the ladder can now start untightening the rope around the right wrist of Saint Andrew to take his body off the cross. And this backstory also explains the reaction of the consul and the man behind him with his mouth open. Both are surprised by the events that they had just witnessed. Andrew was one of the disciples that was closest to Jesus. After the death of Jesus, he traveled the world to preach the Christian religion. It has been reported that he preached in Greece, Romania, Russia, Turkey and Ukraine. Saint Andrew is the brother of Saint Peter. They were the first disciples of Jesus and are mentioned in all four Gospels. Caravaggio had an interest in both of them. Between 1603 and 1606 Caravaggio painted the calling of Saints Peter and Andrew, which we see here. And in 1601, Caravaggio also painted the crucifixion of St. Peter, which is in the Basilica of Santa Maria del Popolo in Rome. So, one curious thing in this painting is the presence of a so-called Latin cross, the same shape as the cross that was used for Jesus' crucifixion. However, Andrew may be better known to have been crucified on an X-shaped cross, also known as St. Andrew's cross. However, according to one of the earliest sources on the death of St. Andrew, the Acts of Andrew, he was bound to a normally shaped upright cross. At the time that Caravaggio painted this work, there was still debate about the true shape of St. Andrew's cross and Caravaggio chose for the upright one. A few months ago, I made another video about how to identify the different apostles in historical artworks. One of the things I mentioned there was that the presence of an X-shaped cross was an easy giveaway that St. Andrew would be present. The hints may be subtle at times. In this work by artist Walford, you need to carefully look at the presence of the X-shaped cross on the top left. But as this painting by Caravaggio illustrates, not all artists portray the different apostles similarly. In this case, if you would not know the title, you could probably still guess that it is Andrew as his hands and feet are bound to the cross. But it is often a bit of a puzzle to figure out who are depicted 
in such paintings. So far, I have not mentioned the elderly woman on the left. The reason is that her identity and role are not entirely clear. One interesting element though, is that it shows the way Caravaggio worked. To create these works he hired cheap models which he recruited on the streets. They included prostitutes and criminals and these people did not always live very healthy lives. Medical professionals for example have diagnosed that the woman suffers from an enlarged thyroid gland, causing a large swelling in the neck. This disease was prevalent in Italy at the time Caravaggio painted and it still exists today. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the discussion. If you want to see more about Caravaggio's work, you can check out some of my other videos, like the one about young sick Bacchus. Or the one about Bacchus. And there are also two short ones, one about David with the head of Goliath. And the other one about the musicians. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a comment down below with your thoughts about this painting and hit the like and subscribe buttons to support the channel. Thanks for watching.